morning, everyone. Hola a todos. Buenos días. My name is Álvaro Castaño. I'm one of the coaches at Conexión, along with Dan Calonge. As you may know, Conexión is the Hispanic ERG for Cincinnati Bell. Our objective is to promote diversity and inclusion for the Hispanic community in Cincinnati, as well as across Cincinnati Bell's footprint. In celebration of the Hispanic Heritage Month, we started on September 15th and will end on October 15th. We are collaborating with four Hispanic restaurants in the Cincinnati area. Our goal is to unveil the depth and the richness of the Hispanic cuisine. The fact that we have 150 Hispanic restaurants in Cincinnati alone speaks for itself. Now, most of us love to eat tacos. Who doesn't like a good taco? And we have plenty of those in Cincinnati. However, tacos are just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to Hispanic cuisine. Today, we're gonna to try to show you how much deeper is that iceberg. We are here at High Park Square with a chef and owner, Alfio Gulisano. Alfio, how are you? Great, thank you for having me. Excellent. I'm sorry that we got a rainy day today, unfortunately, but they, we're here nice and comfortable. Yeah, we can so. still cook and no worries <laughs> about it. We can still cook. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Um, well, first of all, thank you for having us here. We really appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule. Oh, it's for a true pleasure. Inviting Cincinnati Bell into your restaurant. Um, Today we're going to be doing some cooking with Alfio. So Alfio, what kind of food are we cooking today? What are you going to be serving for so us? So to start, we are serving some empanadas. So uh, if you don't know, empanadas are all through South America, Central America, even Spain, Spanish, even some expressions of empanadas are in some African countries. But uh, to focus only, they change each country. So for Argentina, it's a special dough. It's almost like a puff pastry without being so flaky. And you got different stuffings, so that is a showcase of the empanadas. Also, you know, if you're in Argentina, you gotta tr try some grilled meat. So we have some grilled skirt steak. With any grilled meat, we got chimichurri, our classical sauce, and some <laughs> potato salad just to entice the Argentine flares in there, you know? Excellent. So one could say that this is a, a, a true Argentinian restaurant, is that correct? That is correct. The, the recipes are followed like in Argentina. Uh, also, it's a, a little bit of Italian mixture, but if you're in Argentina, there's a lot of Spanish people, a lot of Italian people came in the 1900s, so, you know, that's where you see that uh, too. But in this case, for the Latin month, you know, uh, the Argentine's flair is the chimichurri, is the grill of meats, is the empanadas, you know. Excellent. I love empanadas. Oh, I'd love to. I have to stay away from them, but I love them. <laughs> So, so what inspired you to become a restaurant owner and a chef? I think uh, as, you, as you start in the kitchen, you start to learn about our different cuisines and about different flares, and then you start to marry with your own flair and your own things that you've seen growing up. So in this case, becoming an owner chef gives you the ability to you know, exp express yourself the way you want to do it, you know? And, and how long have you been cooking, actually? I started when I was 17, so that is uh, 23, 24 years ago. Wow, excellent. So, so back to the dish that you're cooking today, what, what do you enjoy most about this dish or why did you choose that in particular? What is the, the, the most significant of it? You know, in Argentina on Sundays when you do the cookout and my, my father used to grill out and my mom used to do the side dishes, you know, just the smell of it and having all the family together in one big, big table and some people even they bring their own dish with their own, yeah, with their own cutlery, you know, they're like that, they're ready to eat when they come in. And so, you know, that is part of what I want to showcase, that, that communion around the table, that social life and family life Excellent. around the table, you know. Excellent, excellent. Well, I'm getting hungry, so, vamos a cocinar? Let's go cooking, vamos a cocinar. Venga. What are you going to prepare for us? Let's talk about it. Today we're going to start with some empanadas, classic from Argentina. I'm going to show you a case of that. Then after that we're going to move into a little bit of chimichurri and a grilled skirt steak and for a side dish a potato salad. Very simple, easy, good food, you know. I'm ready, I'm ready. So let's, let's start with empanadas. I, I'm going to show you a case, two different stuffings in, in Argentina that are really popular. The first one being a ground beef stuffing. Very similar to a taco stuffing, chili powder, cumin, paprika, hard-boiled eggs, and olives, a little change in that factor in Argentina. And then I'm going to show you another one, which is my grandma's recipe. She used to do this for a pizza. And every time I go to Argentina, she makes this pizza for me. But I said, how can I put this in a restaurant level? So I'm going to make it an empanada, more Argentine than that, I cannot get it. Eh? So you got just cheeses, blanched spinach, and a bechamel. I'm going to show you this. You can make your own dough on empanada, very simple. You go online, you get any recipe. But Jungle Gym carries an empanada from Argentina. 
Oh. The blue ones, Excellent. you can fry them or bake them. So this is my suggestion to you. Very easy to do, uh, very easy to grab, and very easy to use. Real quick to make this stuffing, again, very simple. You get the blanched spinach, just chop it up. Spinach? Yep. Okay. Blended cheese, mozzarella provolone. Mozzarella provolone. And a little bit of the bechamel. And what is a bechamel? A bechamel is, is a sauce, a traditional sauce. Normally it's flour, butter, and milk. This one flour, is flour, butter, 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 and cream. Oh, nice. So you want to make this? probably so that when you fry it, it stays consistent as Correct. well? Correct, otherwise it will okay. be spread all your fire. Got you, got you. Excellent. You know, a little pepper, black pepper, a little bit of salt. And every time you cook, and I know this is, this is like the rule one one, you never do by memory. You always want to taste everything that you do many, many times. So we're going to use our same spoon. We're going to create like a quenelle right there. You're going to close it. Sometimes you need a little bit of water on the side of the dough. Sometimes you don't, if the dough will tell you that. And then in Argentina, depending on the crease of the empanada is what the stuffing, what this is in the stuffing, right? So for example, spinach stuffing is one, two, oh. three. So that's how Very you cool. recognize it. When, you, when you're in Argentina and you go to a place that sells empanadas and pizza, normally they're a combo, they have 60 flavors. How oh do they God. recognize it? Well, wow. I will show you how they recognize these flavors. So based on the shape of the empanada, you can tell what's inside of it, Correct. basically. So this one is going to Very be hard. like a, so I always call everybody pinch and fold, pinch and fold, pinch and fold, pinch and fold. Oh, wow. So this is a traditional beef in Argentina. Now, if I were to poke it like this, it could be beef spicy. If I do one, two, three, it could be beef <laughs> without olives. So every time you do one, it's like a, you know, like the license plate. Yeah. Every time you add a letter or a number, you get a different, different thing, you know? It's very clever. <laughs> so from here, you can bake them. You put a parchment paper, you brush them with a little bit of egg, with okay. the egg. And okay. you bake them around 400, at a 400 degree, for I would say 10 to 15 minutes, it'll become golden brown, or we fry them. What is next? I'm excited. I now. want to show you the chimichurri. This is a traditional, chimichurri. traditional uh, Argentine kind of sauce rub that we have when you have a, a steak, you know? Okay. Anyway, we're going to start with the, with the garlic. So what I'm going to do, smash the garlic. It's always easier to chop when it's mashed. So once it's chopped, very simple, we're going to go into a bowl. And you want to add red wine vinegar. And if you do this okay. half an hour to an hour before, it's even better. Because oh. you're going to let that vinegar pickle through the garlic. Take all the aggressiveness of the garlic and leave that great mm, scent that, so and flavor that garlic has. So we're going to put the salt right now. Interesting. And yes. crushed red pepper. Now. This one is an Argentinian cashew pepper. It's a little different than the one you have found here, but both of them are equally good. Oh, beautiful. So we're going to let that marinate right there. We're going to add some flat leaf parsley or Italian parsley, and then some Man. fresh oregano. Now you can use dry oregano. oregano. Be careful, just add a little bit. It is not the same, but sometimes you, know, you don't find a lot of um, fresh oregano around. If you're at home and you need to use dry oregano, so be it. So this is done. We're going to go back to our bowl. We're going to add our herbs. Beautiful. Now, a good olive oil. Really yes. good olive oil. I have to add the most olive oil, the good one, comes from Spain. So let's just be clear there. Nothing wrong with Argentina, right? But when no, it comes no, no, to olive course. oil, yeah, call, call the motherland. Absolutely. So that, that you got the chimichurri, mm. we're going to leave it right there. It's already, you can smell the garlic, the herbs, the crushed red pepper there, the vinegar. Wow. That's your sauce. Fantastic. Bueno. Tenemos ya las empanadas. Yes. Tenemos el chimichurri. El chimichurri. Que nos falta? And now we need something to, 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 to put with the steak, to be a side dish to the steak, you know? Excellent. So we're going to do the potato salad. So we got the boiled car uh, potatoes right there on the bowl. Boiled potatoes. Boiled blanched carrots. Carrots, and those are already cooked as well? Yes, they are. That's it. Then you got the sweet peas. Don't forget about the sweet peas. Then we're going to put salt. And then we're going to put mayo. Be generous with the mayo. You have to be generous, yeah. Yeah, you got to yeah. be generous. You can't you go can, wrong you with mayo. Ask, no, you can't no, go wrong with <laughs> In Spain, we call this ensaladilla rusa. Okay, it's lo mismo. In Argentina, it's right. ensalada rusa. It's lo mismo. Ensalada rusa, okay, okay. 
I think we're ready. I'm going to let you try it. I always, you know, have somebody else trying my stuff, you know, because, you know, sometimes you try so many times, so many things that you need to have a, like a neutral palate to tell you, no, this is yeah. salty, this needs yeah, more we've salt. We've been here so two hours, I'm like, am I yeah. going to be able to try it? I that's, wasn't that's, sure. Yeah, yeah, I, no, I, no, I'm no, glad, no, no, I'm no. glad. Okay. Mm. Is anything? Wow. No, good. We leave it like that. Perfect. That's it. Uh, we got everything ready. The only thing left now is grilling the steak. So Absolutely. what kind of a steak is this? This what is a skirt steak. Skirt. Okay. Outside skirt steak. Okay. And, and how long does it cook on the grill usually? I would say around 10 to 15 minutes. It really depends on what temperature you're looking for, you know? All right. So here we got the skirt steak. As you see on the grill, you got sides that they look a little bit off on the white side. That is really hot. That is only for other stuff that we go at the restaurant. Then I have another side that is a little lesser temperature, and that's what we're going to go. In Argentina, you go a little slower and for longer time when you grill your meats. Mm. So yeah. then once this is cooked, the chimichurri sauce will go on top of the steak, is that Absolutely. correct? Absolutely. But so normally in flavor. Argentina, what you do, you go to the asador. And you say, I want that, I want that. Oh, and the asador gives you the best. If, you, if your asador is a good friend of you, I'm ready you're for eating the trip. really well, you know? <laughs> and so you go there, and then on the table, you put your own chimichurri. Excellent. In excellent. this case, you know. All right, so he's got the two empanadas ready to go. And now we're going to just submerge them. 350 is the temperature. I put something on top because the empanadas tend to flow. And so you want to have that. Very clever. And always, you know, after the first one. Very but if clever. you're at home and you don't have this, sometimes just flipping over around half of the time of cooking, you'll you be good. So let's see if our steak is ready to be turned. Okay. Another telltale when you're grilling, I don't know if you start to see that the meat in one corner is juicing up. Mm -hmm. It's telling you I'm getting medium rare, I'm approaching the medium. This, every, every, every food talks to you, tells you, gives you a hint of what, when, you, when you have to turn me, when you have to take me off. So, so it's a secret code. There's always secret code. So as you see here, empanadas are oh, golden brown. We have brown. some beautiful empanadas beautiful here. Beautiful empanadas. Oh, wow. We're going to turn our steak just a little bit. To show the camera a little bit. Look at those. So as you can see here, Based on the design of the empanada, you can tell what's inside. So these ones that have the little, uh, I don't know how you call it. It's like a pie. Okay. It's like, almost like a pie, you know, like so, a pie fold. So that's, that's the beef. meat, the beef empanada, yeah. right? And then this one that has the three folds, that's the spinach. spinach. Oh, we got that steak. Oh, it smells delicious. All right, let's We're make going to put a little more chimichurri on the skirt steak. Ooh. You can't go wrong there. Yeah. And now, just with the heat of the steak, it probably warms up the chimichurri sauce oh. to bring out the flavor, right? Absolutely. And mm. the, the acid will start to, to, to go through the meat a little bit. And then the, the juice that is left with the bread, you know? That, 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 that meat and flavor with the chimichurri, outstanding. Excellent, so this is it. That is it. So does that mean that we're ready to eat? We're ready to eat. Let's go eat. Let's go eat. <laughs> Vamos. <laughs> bueno, pues, here we are. Aquí bueno, estamos. Un vinito. Alfio, what kind of wine do we have here? You got a Malbec? Obviously, Malbec does really well in Argentina. This is Catena Zapata, one of the best uh, wineries in Argentina. So hopefully we enjoy it with this great meal, you know? Well, let's see. Let's see. Un poquito de vino. Muchas gracias. De nada. And the most important thing before eating is to Cheers. Cheers. Salud. And I take advantage to invite everybody from Cincinnati Bell to stop by the restaurant. Come and if you come, let me know that you're here. I come and greet you at the table. And by the way, we love Five Optics here. We have it at the restaurant. It just it's amazing how fast it, everything is. And so we appreciate that as well. So so your life since you got Cincinnati Bell Five Optics, Fiber Optics, is better? Much, much better. We love it. <laughs> I'll try Thank to you. that. <laughs> bueno Alfio, so this is the final moment here. Let's talk about what we have again. Yep. So we have empanadas, very typical, typical from Argentina. Argentina. Yes. 
we have carne, carne. meat, right? Y espinaca y queso, spinach and cheese. Spinach and cheese. And these were deep fried for about three minutes. Absolutely. We also have a skirt steak that smells so good yes, the with the chimichurri like. sauce on top, which again, while the steak is hot, you can put the chimichurri on it and all those flavors from Bring the garlic, yes, olive oil, uh, the, temperature, the vinegar, you know, everything comes out. And then as a side dish, what is that? That's a potato salad. It's a Argentine style potato salad. They call it actually a salad rusa. You and mentioned that. Rusa. Yes, absolutely. Uh, but in Argentina, it's very common in any cookout and it has carrots, beans, mayo, and potatoes. You cannot go wrong with that. Oh my God. Well, let's go at it. So let's go eat. are you going to cut? I want absolutely. To, I, want, I want to see this moment. Oh, that looks beautiful. So if you approach your plate. Oh, that looks, that looks real, my and, friend. You know, let me slide these empanadas right next to you because in Argentina, all the empanadas in one plate, you go with your hand, you grab them, and you eat them. There's no side plate for empanadas. And I nobody think I'm going cut. to. So what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut, cut it or half. not? Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely, see, see. That's not a scene or anything no, like no, that? No, 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 okay. no, no. You're good, you're good. We're going to start cutting this one. Mm, that looks beautiful. And then we have the spinach, spinach and, cheese. and cheese here. But as you see, that bechamel will help you to keep it together, but still be, you know, like melting. All right, so I think we got to start this with a bite of an empanada. I'm Absolutely. going to try the meat because I'm a meat eater. I'm going for the spinach. All right. In honor to my grandma. Salud. Salud.